very big thumb up. Okay, right here I will add a little bit speech because I have to say that uh, this is awesome. This is the first milling that I have done with uh, a carbide cutter. This is my own carbide cutter. Uh, the school has no no other cutters but high speed steel, and this is this is it's like a whole world of difference. Uh, I just made another piece. Of the, uh, like this, which is actually on the other side of the of the same piece, and the operation I just did uh, lasted about two minutes, and using high speed steel bit, it took uh, it took an hour actually. Can you imagine? Two minutes versus one hour. That's incredible. Incredible. No more high speed milling if if possible. Okay, I'm gonna show you what my programs look like. I'm using what I have, and what I have is Surfcam. I think this is year 2003, so it's pretty old, but it gets the job done. So I have first drawn uh, the the main outlines of this piece, which you can see in white color. So this is the the outside profile end, and this is uh, uh, this is a uh, I think it should be called a shoulder, and this is the main bore. So what it's doing, it's taking, uh, it's taking about 20 millimeters per pass uh, in the depth of cut, and um, and two and a half millimeter width of cut. So it's milling the the outside and the bore in two passes. Uh, I mean in in two depths. And in this particular piece, the, the hole, the center hole is gonna be 
not as long as the outside profile. So this is how the tool will travel. Maybe if I have time I can show you how I make these drawings and programs. Uh, but how I transmit these to the machine, um, I click here and, and select this one which has all the machining operations, uh, profiling and pocketing and uh, what else we have. <coughs> and then we will post it to the form that uh, FANUC understands, FANUC 0M. I'm not going to do this now because I already did it. But that's how you do it. And then you have this pro program, SDNC2. I don't know what's uh, usually used, but that's what we are using at the school. And we're going to load the, uh, the correct program, which is here. And then we're going to connect to the machine tool and then transmit it. And now it says waiting for machine tool. And now we are going to the machine tool. And how we make the machine ready for the program, we first um, uh, tell the program and the machine where the part is, where we want to start machining. Uh, and we have to set the tools, of course. I have a tool carousel in here. I think it has it has 13, uh, actually 15 uh, tools in it. And how we start the program, uh, we have to zero the z-axis, and then it's ready to go. It doesn't matter which tool is in when you start, because the program will change to the correct tool. Okay. Now we are at machine zero and we are switching on tape and before starting programs I think it's a good idea to switch rapid rabbits and feeds down so it won't crash as hard as it would if you had this on. But you still have to be very careful when you start a new program on a new part. Okay, let's see what we get. First we get a tool change from the high-speed steel tool to the, to the 18mm carbide tool. And we have 2700 RPM. Actually, I have a little bit more even now. I have a little, little bit over 3000 RPM. Let's wrap it down and see if we stop in the right place. Got a phone call again. Okay, so uh, almost ready to go, so it stopped because uh, uh, the feed is set to zero and this uh, it, it came down with the rapid traverse and now you can see it wants to go 22.5 millimeters down and 22.5 is because uh, there is a safety distance of 2.5 millimeters and then it uh, wants to feed down 20 millimeters. So let's switch on the feed. Let's put on 100%. It starts going down. It feeds down very slowly. But the slowness stops right here. And the machining starts. The program is not perfect because it's not touching from the beginning, but I guess that's better not to touch than to than touch too much. I'm making four of these bearing holders, and uh, I already made two, and these two are a little bit smaller. And actually, uh, when I did the first cuts, uh, I mean the first piece is the. Uh, the program was cutting from the first pass. And this is just a modification from the first program. And that's why it's cutting air. J 
just loving those chips fly. Ain't this awesome? I really need a machine like this myself. So it is taking 20 mm DLC, 2.5 mm uh, width of cut, 3000 RPM and uh, 1200 mm per minute feet. And I'm still using only less than 50% of the spindle power. So even though this is a very little machine, I think it's pretty capable. For now I don't wanna push anything any further. Not the end mill nor the milling machine. And now it's going for the pocket. I'm gonna give it some cooling. Not sure if it's necessary, but I think it will help a little bit. Now it's going for the deep hole. Same cutting parameters as on the outside profile. And that's it. Awesome. Now it's going for the outside again. And because the end mill is so short, uh, I had to set, um, I had to kind of cheat the program uh, for the second pass to, for the tool to be uh, one millimeter larger. So now it's leaving a step of half a millimeter per side. And by doing that, it is now possible to mill longer than, than the length of the tool. <laughs> 